सो वॉट इज माइक्रो फाइनेंस लेंडिंग फर्स्टली मोस्ट माइक्रो फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन में जो लोन हम लोग देते हैं उसमें कोई कोलेट्रल नहीं होता कोई कि अगर टुमारो इफ़ आई एम नॉट एबल टू रीपे माई लोन कोई आके मेरा बाइक उठा के नहीं लेके जाएगा इफ आई बॉट द बाइक ऑन लोन गाड़ी या घर जब्त नहीं कर लेगा राइट सो दीज आर ऑल कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन सो आई एम गिविंग द कंपनी इज गिविंग लेडी so most mfi lending happens to women micro finance lending traditionally happens in groups so it's called jlg lending social collateral mane ki ki there are three to four or six women who form a group and the company gives the money to the group to the women in the group Liberty comes from the ability to make sound financial decisions. Decisions that empower women micro entrepreneurs to take flight. Enable them to earn their own money, their own living and provide better opportunities for their children, their families and their communities. We at Arohan are empowering financially underserved customers and partnering with them in their journey of growth and fulfillment by opening new doors of opportunities we are mainstreaming through financial inclusion and becoming a contributor to the indian growth story being a leading nbfc mfi with operations in financially underpenetrated low income states of india we collect data points on the customer and her household to make informed decisions to take financial inclusion to the next level we at arohan provide income generating loans and other financial inclusion related products to customers who have limited or no access to financial services Our journey towards financial inclusion through microfinance operations began in the year 2006. We became part of the Avishkar group in 2012 and have since facilitated growth for millions of customers whom we serve. We offer a broad range of financial products in credit and insurance. We also offer term loans to other small microfinance institutions. With our customer centric approach we are the preferred partner for growth for the millions of financially underserved Indians. Teen saal hum judi hai Arohan se. Ami Arohan thi ke teen bachche roy loan ta nichi. Arohan se jo loan mila hai wo business mein lagaya hai. Bahut fayda hoye baaje se hame business mein lagaye hai. Ha amar loan niye amar byabsay upokar hoyeche. Ose गदेला हमार पढ़ाई स्कूल भेज भी सकी था और पैसा जमा कर सकी था परिवार भी चला था बिजनेस बढ़ाना है हमको आरोहन से पैसा लोन लेकर हमें आरोन्ती के लोन लिए व्यवसाय आरो हमें उन्नति करते चाहिए we harness the power of data and leverage it to drive our decisions and strategies Our management consists of diverse and experienced professionals led by a stellar board of directors. With prudent investment in technology and in our workforce, we have enhanced our operational efficiency and scale while also laying down the foundation for future readiness. We are a digitally advanced NBFC MFI. successfully using technology to advance and scale our infrastructure we are an employee friendly equal opportunity organization with a sharp focus on fostering diversity and inclusion with a value driven approach towards our people 
we work towards not only fostering individual growth but also nurturing and uplifting the communities we operate in over the years we have won many industry awards and accolades which provides testimony to the lasting impact we have made in our customers lives we are guided by our core values towards providing sustainable growth for all our stakeholders especially our customers our employees and our investors we are arohan trusted partners for your journey forward and we'll move straight into the presentation then so the video was more about arohan ke bare mein tha right but uh, we want to talk about financial freedom through microfinance and what microfinance as an industry aims to achieve hum log kya kya karti hai microfinance industry but before that i wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and this was my first job uh, mba ke baad jahan pe financial freedom to bahut tha but i i used to sit like a, on a desk like this with six screens i was a trader uh, investment banking trader so financial freedom wahan pe dusre tarike ke milti hai and our journey over here our discussion aaj ke din mein is about a different kind of financial freedom where i am right now jo hum aaj jiske bare mein baat karna chahte hain and on the screen you see this lady she is one of our customers who is who has her own weaving business microfinance unko empower karta hai ki wo loans le typically microfinance ka loan amount is smaller between 75000 maximum loan size is between 75000 or 1 lakh rupees sometimes 1 lakh 20000 rupees but definitely not more than that depending upon the borrower's cap- capability that they repay the loan and there are guidelines around that but coming back to financial freedom what does financial freedom mean for this lady ki wo jaise aapne video mein dekha ki wo apne bachcho ko school bhej paaye apka family ka income badha paaye ek sath society mein contribute kare and that is what financial freedom through microfinance aims to achieve coming back to the first question about uh, sustainable development goals jo polls mein tha right the first goal which is end poverty in all its forms everywhere jahan pe bhi across the world uh, garibi hai poverty hai usko khatam karna hai by 2030 is the goal of the united nations us pe abhi abhi ke din mein aaj ke din mein current world population is 8.1 billion people jo by 2030 aur bhi badh jayega to 8.5 and you can see the numbers over here yahan pe agar jaisa chal raha hai waise hi chalte rahe even agle it's trend 24 now to agle 6 saal ke baad bhi there will be 500 more than 500 million people who are living in extreme poverty across the world and only one third of countries across the world will have half their national poverty levels इसका मतलब अगर जो अब तक जो चलता आया है इफ दैट कंटिन्यूज देन थिंग्स विल नॉट गेट बेटर ऑफ कोर्स वी हैव टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट माइक्रो फाइनेंस एम्स टू एड्रेस दैट एम्स टू हेल्प पीपल टू एनहेंस देयर इनकम जनरेशन सो दैट दे आर एबल टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू देयर ओन फैमिलीज टू देयर सोसाइटीज एंड ओवरऑल कम आउट ऑफ पॉवर्टी इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस वन आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट एंड आल्सो सैड फैक्ट कोविड के बाद व्हाट वी सॉ is since 1900 and is 2024 now this was the first time that poverty has increased globally across 30 years of time frame of course we all know how covid uh, affected all of us but microfinance jo typically bottom of the pyramid hum log bolte hain jo log financially excluded hai jo log din ka aamdani hota hai and din ka kharcha bhi hota hai savings kam hota hai they are for those set of people they got affected the worst and how uske bare mein i'll talk some more about that i want to spend a minute on this graph and uh, for i I'll, i'll explain it to you so the blue bar on the left side right so the three bars on the left side are logo ka income it shows income and the three bars on the right side of the screen are the wealth so what this means is if you look at the red bars the top 10% of the human population and this data 2021 ka hai just after covid ka hai so it means that the top 10% have 52% of the world's income as percent of the world's wealth and usko agar hum log change karenge bottom 50% across the world 
only they have only 2% of the world's wealth only 8.5% of the world's income so the disparity jo difference hai opportunity gap mein exclusion mein jo the what comes up that is something which is present and that is something which needs to be addressed in order to make sure that we are in line with the sdg 1 goal the sustainable development goal number 1 which is to eradicate poverty poverty dur karna hai and this shows ki kaise income and wealth is unequally distributed across the world not just india this is a uh, you know globally accessible data as well hum jab high income economies ke bare mein baat karte hain so developed countries and developing countries of course we know that india is a developing nation still and we do have aggressive goals to become a developed nation very soon but hum jab financial freedom ke bare mein baat karte hain we'll also talk about financial exclusion right what does that mean so i'll go around i know there's a little bit of text is slide pe but i'll explain it this is across the world right so because this is both high income developed countries as, as well as developing countries like india if you only look at kitne logo ke paas bank account hai 56% of unbanked adults across the world are women jitne bhi adults hain across the world people who are adults above 18 years of old of age most of them who do not have bank accounts are women and across the world again 94% adults have an account in high income developed countries while only 67% in developing economies across both men and women when we come to credit matlab ki loans milta hai ki nahi whether i am eligible for a loan whether i am able to get a loan or not if i need the money so 27% in developed countries again these are 27% adults they reported having at least one loan a housing loan in this case whereas in developing ones it's less than one third of that it's about one third of that it's 8% only so jo gap hai between developed and developing economies in terms of financial inclusion or exclusion whichever way you want to look at it is very very huge so uh, 19% adults almost 20% adults say ki unka they have an outstanding uh, loan while only 9% in developing ones right so the change and you can look at the data we can talk about it more later but the difference in financial inclusion in having financial freedom across developing and developed countries is very very wide what does financial inclusion mean financial freedom and financial inclusion it means that individuals and businesses and that can be any kind of business not just big businesses but here we are talking about micro businesses msmes jo bolte hain uske bhi chote se chote businesses aapke gaon mein the local uh, you know poultry farmer or dairy farmer or grocery shop owner people like that we saw in the video people who are weaving carpets people like that so financial inclusion matlab individuals and businesses have access a lot of time access hum log jo jin hum mein se jo people who are who live in bigger cities even in tier 2 and tier 3 cities access is relatively easy i can either do it online or i can just walk down to the bank branch or to the lending company i can just speak to them on the phone but majority of india's population stays in rural india wahan pe access is not that easy wahan pe access means you have to uh, you can't speak to anybody on the phone you can't have access over your smartphone or over the internet more often wahan pe access means aapko bus pakad ke ya kisi bhi tarah 20 km jana padega to check aapke bank account mein kitne paise hain hai bhi ya nahi so of course what we mean by financial inclusion is that individual and businesses have access access to what to useful and affordable financial products and services useful of course it has to be used for income generation aapka livelihood badhega आपकी उन्नति हो इम्प्रूवमेंट प्रोग्रेस नॉट ओनली ऑफ द फैमिली बट ऑफ सोसाइटी ओवरऑल राइट एंड अफोर्डेबल आई कैन गिव समी ए लोन एट सिक्सटी परसेंट इंटरेस्ट रेट चार्जेस यू नो आई कैन हैव अ होल लॉट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज विच आर बींग ऑफर्ड टू पीपल अक्रॉस लेकिन हिडन चार्जेस होते हैं विच आर नॉट डिस्कलोज और फिर बाद में एवरीबडी गेट्स इन टू ट्रेवल द पर्सन इफ आई बॉर दैन आई एम गोइंग टू गेट इन ट्रेवल तो पता नहीं था मुझे इतना तो इट हैज़ टू बी अफोर्डेबल फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज That need their needs. Need होता है फाइनेंशियल का आप कोई ट्रांजेक्शन करना चाहते हो राइट नाउ वेन वी मूविंग फ्रॉम अ कैश लेस फ्रॉम अ कैश टू अ कैश लेस इकोनॉमी अक्रॉस इंडिया यू वी नो वी यूज यू पी आई वी नो यूज भीम गूगल पे फोन पे ऑल दीज ऐप्स ऑल ऑफ दीज आर ट्रांजेक्शन हाउ ईजी इज इट फॉर यू टू मेक ट्रांजेक्शन पेमेंट्स टू हैव सेविंग्स टू गेट क्रेडिट टू गेट लोन्स टू गेट मनी इफ आई नीड इट and of course insurance which is also another big sector in india 
with tremendous potential for growth. But the last part, which I will talk about the most possibly in today's presentation, mein, is when we deliver financial inclusion. That doesn't mean that we are giving away money. It's not charity, right? We are empowering people to earn their livelihood, to increase their income uh, generation capabilities in a responsible and sustainable way, so that I can keep doing it. If today I'm doing it for one person, tomorrow I need to be able to do it for two, because ultimately the goal is again back to SDG one. We want to eradicate poverty, so it's very very important to understand that what financial inclusion means. There has to be easy access to useful and affordable financial products. It has to meet people's needs. What is there? If there is a gap, that gap has to be met. The need has to be met, and it has to be most importantly delivered in a responsible and sustainable way. So, what does MFI do in this context? With this background, what do they do? Microfinance institutions, and they can be banks, they can be MFIs, they can be small finance banks, NGOs. um uh, you know other kind of entities as well ndfcs as well they are attempting to break the cycle what cycle is that the poverty ka cycle jaise maine shuru mein bola din ka amdani hota hai din ka kharcha bhi ho jata hai there are no savings right and there is no punji uh, jisko hum log bolte hain hindi mein because wo hota hi nahi hai jitna aata hai wo to chala hi jata hai so how do we break that cycle if i am getting credit how can i when if i am getting a loan how can i use that to increase my income कल मुझे दस रुपए मिला था आज मुझे पंद्रह रुपए मिले या ग्यारह रुपए मिले या साढ़े दस रुपए मिले बट कुछ इंक्रीज हो और वो जो एक्स्ट्रा है उससे मैं और बढ़ाऊं एंड अल्टीमेटली माय लाइवलीहुड माय इनकम माय माय पोजीशन माय सोसाइटी एवरीथिंग विल चेंज राइट सो एम एफ आई जर वे टू ब्रेक द साइकिल एंड अल्टीमेटली क्रिएट फ्रीडम ऑफकोर्स फॉर द पर्सन हु इज एक्सेसिंग दी एम एफ आई लोन्स इंडिया में ये साढ़े छः करोड़ दैट इज एज ऑफ मार्च थर्टी फर्स्ट थर्टी वन इन द पोल आई सेट सेवन करोड़ आउट ऑफ ओवरऑल हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी करोड़ पीपल इन इंडिया राइट सो वॉट इज माइक्रो फाइनेंस लेंडिंग सो वी स्पेंड सम टाइम ऑन दैट द आज कल आप लोग देर आई थिंक मोर देन टू हंड्रेड इंस्टीट्यूशन अक्रॉस इंडिया विच गिव एम एफ आई लोन अक्रॉस वॉट इज एन मीन फर्स्टली मोस्ट माइक्रो फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन में जो लोन हम लोग देते हैं उसमें कोई कोलेट्रल नहीं होता कोई कि अगर टुमारो इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू रीपे माई लोन कोई आके मेरा बाइक उठा के नहीं लेके जाएगा इफ आई बॉट द बाइक ऑन लोन गाड़ी या घर जब्त नहीं कर लेगा राइट सो दीज आर ऑल कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन सो आई एम गिविंग द कंपनी इज गिविंग लेडी सो मोस्ट एम एफ आई लैंडिंग हैपन्स टू वीमेन एंड वी टॉक मोर अबाउट दैट So the company is giving this lady, her family, essentially collateral free money, which ranges anything from, like I said, five thousand rupees to up to typically seventy five thousand could be up to one lakh twenty five thousand as well, depending upon the company who is giving it. There are credit criteria around it. Kisko de sakte hai, kisko nahi de sakte. Who can the company uh, give money to, lend money to, and who can they not? Each company has their own separate criteria. Now, microfinance lending traditionally happens in groups, so it's called JLG lending, social collateral. Meaning that ki, ki there are three to four or six women who form a group, and the company gives the money to the group to the women in the group. What does that mean? If there are six people, if I am taking a loan with six of my family members or my uh, people who stay in the same locality, then tomorrow if I am not able to pay my loan, somebody will come and tell me, "Hey, you can't do it. Can I do it for you?" कल आप मुझे दे देना राइट सो द जॉइंट लाइबिलिटी ग्रुप द ग्रुप टेक्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर गिविंग द मनी बैक एंड दैट हैज बीन द कोर ऑफ हाउ एम एफ आई हैज फॉर्म नॉट ओनली इन इंडिया बट इनिशियली एन स्टार्ट इन बांग्लादेश आज ही बांग्लादेश में बहुत एम एफ आई लैंडिंग होता है अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड होता है इनफैक्ट बट इट ऑल स्टार्टेड विद जे एल जी लैंडिंग देर इज अनादर फॉर्म कॉल एस एच जी लैंडिंग विच इज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप लैंडिंग उसमें क्या होता है कुछ लोग पैसे देते हैं and then that money is distributed so the model is different but most mfi lenders they will do jlg lending a joint liability group lending emi kya hota hai so the typically the emi amount will range from say 400 rupees to say 3000 5000 rupees not more than that the idea is that it is small affordable emi amounts which the lady or the family is able to pay back on time क्योंकि अननेसरली मैं अगर यू नो इफ आई हैव केपेबिलिटी ऑफ रीपेइंग टू थाउजेंड रुपीज बट आई टेक अ लोन विच मेक्स मी से दैट आई हैव टू रीपे ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज इन अंत तो वो तो मैं दे ही नहीं पाऊँ एंड देन वॉट हैपन्स बिकॉज दीज आर कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन सो देन वॉट हैपन्स आई एम नॉट एबल टू 
return the money my credit bureau record all mfi uh, customers have their credit bureau record my record kharab ho raha hai but then i don't know anything because i took the wrong amount of loan right i my hands are tied so the amount which i can afford as a borrower to take right to mujhe kitne paise ki zarurat hai that has to be very carefully determined both by the borrower as well as by the lender how much money am i going to give this didi will it be 20000 will it be 2 lakh rupees 1 lakh rupees what is the amount depending upon the ability ki wo kitna paisa wapas de payenge how much will she or he be able to repay typically these loan cycles also they happen uh, it takes about 4 to 7 days to get the money into his or her bank account so these are relatively faster than other forms of uh, lending and the idea is why because like i again going back to din ka aata hai din ka jata hai so you need money quickly so that the uh, our customers our borrowers are able to take the amount and put it to use quickly at a time when they need it the most